So the topic of discussion today is Apex Season 12 and whether or not it will be getting a new gun. And if it does, which gun will it be? Also in the news today, the Season 12 teaser is now live on uh, Storm Point. You can go over by the North Pad section of the map. I also talked about this in yesterday's video. If you guys want to know exactly what's going to happen or you can go try it for yourself. It is a live event, although it's not like a live music event like we saw in Fortnite. It is just something that happens that uh, progressively modifies the map as these events take place. So make sure to go check it out on your game and we also have a little bit of an update of the new mode that's supposed to be permanent coming in season 12. so first off let's talk about this new weapon uh of discussion that people are talking about around twitter and also whether or not we will be getting this new weapon or a new weapon at all coming in season 12. i want to backtrack a little bit and take you back to season 5 where we can use some of the knowledge or logic that respawn is using whether or not they're adding new weapons to every season so this is back in season five coming from an article from alpha intel in which they quoted respawn saying this on may the 12th of 2020 and said they stepped back and asked themselves does apex really need a new weapon every season because if they continue to add new weapons the weapon pool will become saturated that's one of the devs back on may the 12th they also said according to masterminds behind apex legends there is a sweet spot for any title that has huge weapon pools in their eyes their battle royale is currently hovering right above the right amount of players to pick and choose from so they don't want to have too many guns in the loot pool and basically if they did they would have to figure out a way to vault stuff but they can't really vault stuff because people bought skins for it so it wouldn't really work but we do know that after this you know we've had some seasons where there's not really been a weapon added but rather there's been some other items that were added they did confirm the no vaulting thing by saying there were a few options apex could have taken they admitted fortnite often removes their guns by vaulting them and re-releases them in future patches respawn felt they couldn't go down that route in their own title however vaulting weapons is not an option for us they quoted because players have purchased skins they said we are forced to be more creative we have had some ideas of how to address it but we need more time to test them and make sure that they are healthy so that brought up the discussion whether or not season 12 will be receiving a new weapon and the reason i'm talking about this is because there are a few weapons that are going around the block and what you need to know whether or not they will be coming so obviously we have no confirmation whether or not they are coming however we do know that they have recently added some new weapons so it doesn't feel like they're taking a massive break from adding weapons and it is very possible that they could add a new weapon and the two weapons of discussion that many people are talking about i want to take you back to one from the arena's reveal whenever basically ryan ridney came out and said yo don't talk about this there's nothing to worry about here this was a little bit of a mishap and some people even got confused because of the uh, attachments you were seeing the placeholder image you were seeing but this is called the nemesis burst ar now i don't really know if this is coming personally i don't think uh i don't think it will although compared to the other gun i would like to see this one compared over the next weapon we will talk about but you can see as an r301 placeholder image which obviously does not mean it is the r301 because the same weapon we're going to talk about in just a second also has the same thing going on but it also has energy weapon uh, attachments here so a lot of people are thinking that it's going to be a burst ar similar to the prowler but an ar versus you know whatever that's just a dumb why don't I even call it an AR? I mean, it was obviously an SMG. I just should have shut my mouth and just said the right thing. Long story short, people think it's going to be a burst energy AR because that's what it looks like based off of the attachments. Don't get too caught up in the image placeholder that you see because moving on to our next weapon of discussion that a lot of people have been talking about is this new LMG. Now, this LMG is a little concerning to me because obviously I don't think we need a new LMG. Now, this next weapon is a little different. It's uh, it's not exactly the weapon I would perceive us getting, uh, especially right after we just received the Rampage. But this is called the M429 Maelstrom. I'm assuming uh, Maels Maelstrom. I don't know Maelstrom. I don't know if this is in Titanfall or not. Let me check. So apparently there is some type of a Maelstrom or Maelstrom. How do you pronounce this thing? If you guys are Titanfall gurus, let me know how to pronounce it. Uh, apparently there is some type of weapon over in Titanfall called that, but it doesn't look like it's a normal class weapon, and I can't really find it. So I'm not really sure. We know that sometimes they make some original guns, and sometimes they just make some uh, guns that are copies from Titanfall. But I don't think that we need to be too worried about this yet because I just can't imagine that they bring another LMG. By the way, it is a light gun LMG. My eye just switched. I don't know if you could even see that. That was weird. But especially with the, the complaints about the Rampage, last thing I think we need right now is another light machine gun. I think the Nemesis Burst AR would probably be the better decision. And the reason I'm saying I don't think it'll be the Nemesis Burst AR is because, to be honest with you, everything that we think makes sense or what they should do is usually what they don't do. So that's just what I'm going with. Honestly, I would say no weapon over either one of these. And then if it is a weapon, probably the Nemesis. No way they bring this LMG this soon. Now, we also know that this weapon, apparently from just uh, playtest leaks, and I'm not going to show those because I don't really know what's real and what's not. 
but also people were saying look this is just the devotion because you can see the picture but those are just simply placeholder images don't get too caught up in them let me know which of these two weapons you would like to see in season 12 and whether or not you actually think we will be getting a new weapon also don't forget that there was that little freeze grenade that we talked about a few seasons ago and we never saw that coming so maybe they take the route of not bringing a new weapon at all but bringing a new item like that little freeze grenade also in the news we have a little bit of an update from shrug tall regarding the new game mode that we should be getting in season 12 need i remind you that this is not the LTM modes that we will be getting uh, in about a week or so from the anniversary collection event, which by the way, I want to give an update because I did give the wrong date the other day. This should be on February the 1st. It should be about a one week event. Unfortunately, not very long, but you will be able to get heirloom shards most likely, which you can pick whatever heirloom that you want from this collection event. So you also should be getting some new LTM modes from Respawn that to their, to their word, they said is, are there brand new LTMs? They're not recycled. They got new stuff in store. They got new stuff that they've created. And I really hope it's not just a twist on an old one and maybe just a recycled one that they throw in there or, hey, we brought Armed and Dangerous back and would we'll be so mad because that's just not a new LTM like it seemed like we were promised. Even if it is a new LTM, it's just so weird they talked about all these new LTMs that they had coming this season and there's not been one new one yet and we're almost at the end of the season so if you bring it the very last week it really doesn't even feel like you kept your promise still anyhow this is a different permanent mode that's supposed to be coming in season 12 according to shrug tall in which i did talk about in a previous video but he also gave us a little bit of an update to some of the stuff that's on these maps basically he said right here when olympus was in rotation there was a bunch of map data about the domination game mode called control which i drew out i don't know why i keep doing these quote air quotes like it means something he said recently winter express was added using the loadout system for this mode making it a possibility for season 12 probably large team sizes being about 9 to 12 so it'd be probably similar to ground war in call of duty but from what you can see right here in these pictures you can see where the teams should spawn you can also see x's on the map which he said are the marks for tridents and then also the arrows on the map which are these little yellow arrows are apparently instant redeploys or like skydive launchers like I, i'm assuming like geysers or something all right and lastly your golden nuggets for today if you guys have not seen this already the twitch drops are back watch four hours of the algs split one playoffs this weekend to earn all of these items and as you can see uh some of them are pretty basic but i guess they are free stuff from watching algs so just give up four hours of your time and you can get these cheap looking skins that really don't mean much but go for it if you want to you got a bloodhound singularity skin a hollow spray from the playoffs which honestly i feel like the hollow spray is the only thing that's really cool here the charms for the champions cup and a prowler scarlet scale skin but another thing that they did announce and i think this part is actually cool for those of you that do like to watch the algs is that they have now launched a new multi-view feature to which you can now watch the pro matches up to four split screens. So if you want to watch four of your favorite teams all at once and see how they're doing, or maybe even watch the official ALGS broadcast and three of your other favorite teams, you can now do that with the multi-view. Honestly, I think this is pretty big and a really good feature that they just added. So let me know what you all think down below about season 12, the new weapon or item that we hopefully might be getting. And also let me know what you guys think about the season 12 game mode that we just got an update on from Shrug Tall and as well the Golden Nuggets. Make sure to leave your dad joke down in the comments as always. The best one gets in the next video. And also don't forget to join the Discord for the 1v1, $1 to $2,000 prize pool tournament. I'll see you all in the next one. It's Vibe or Die, only positivity. Make sure to go down in the comments. Make someone's day better, not worse. Oh, I said that fast. Well, I'm feeling really good today. And until next time, later, Gators.